Hello everyone, welcome to this video on inverter air conditioners and refrigerators. So all of you know that nowadays AC and refrigerator are very common in every household and the refrigerator is the one which is running almost throughout the day that is 24 hours a day. So savings in energy or electricity is one of the major concern in this area and inverter technology is the one which is developed in this regard to reduce the energy consumption. So by the end of this video, you will be able to answer the following questions. Explain the use of an inverter in inverter air conditioners and refrigerators. Explain the working of an inverter air conditioner. What are the advantages of inverter air conditioners? Explain the working of an inverter refrigerator. And finally, what are the advantages of inverter refrigerators? So coming to an air conditioner, an air conditioner maintains a set temperature by cooling when the room temperature rises above the set temperature and heating when the room temperature falls below the temperature. And there are two main categories of air conditioners available in the market today. The inverter air conditioner and the fixed speed air conditioner. It is important to know the benefits and capacities of both these air conditioners before you make a purchase. So although both the inverter air conditioner and the fixed speed air conditioner have similar function the difference lies in the type of compressor technology which is used in this type of inverters for compressing and expanding the refrigerant liquid thus providing the cooling necessary to cool the incoming air now coming to a fixed speed or non inverter type air conditioner it is the one in which the speed remains constant, the motor speed remains constant and temperature is adjusted by turning on and off which consumes more energy. In other words, the non-inverter type air conditioners have fixed cooling or heating capacity and can only control the indoor temperature by starting and stopping of their compressor motor. So this is a main thing that is to be noted. And in an inverter type air conditioner, temperature is adjusted by changing the motor speed without turning on and off the motor. An inverter type air conditioner adjusts the speed of the compressor to control the refrigerant gas, thereby consuming less current and power. An inverter type air conditioner vary their cooling and heating capacity by adjusting the power supply frequency of their Compressor. So this inverter is doing the function of varying the power supply frequency in an inverter air conditioner. So the inverter rotates the motor by switching the direction of electric current of the electromagnet. And the regulation of the rotation speed in the motor is performed by meticulously controlling the switching speed. So this Functions are done or performed by the inverter which is added in the inverter AC. An inverter has a precise temperature control and as the set temperature is attained, the unit adjusts its capacity to eliminate any temperature fluctuation. And as a result, the inverter air conditioners are more energy saving and comfortable than the non-inverter air conditioner. The inverter air conditioner is by far the most energy efficient. Now let us see the comparison. So here I have shown the inverter power control and non-inverter type air power control. So first looking into the non-inverter type here the power source is the compressor motor and it is always run at a fixed speed. So it is run at a fixed capacity. Whatever be the set temperature it is adjusted by turning on and off of the compressor motor but in an inverter power control there is an added part which is the inverter which can vary or control its frequency and thereby control the motor speed so in this case the speed control is done to make the temperature control so it can either operate at high speed by making the frequency high and it can also run at a very low speed by making the frequency lower Thus, the capacity can vary from high to low. So if you take an example of 1.5 ton AC, the inverter AC can work from 0.3 to 1.7 ton based on cooling requirement, whereas a non-inverter AC can work only at 1.5 ton that is fixed. So it always consumes more energy, whereas here you can save the energy. 
Then again coming to the comfort level, consider a case when the set temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. In the case of a non-inverter conditioner uh, AC, the compressor will stop once it reaches say 21 degrees Celsius and once it reaches 23 degrees Celsius again the compressor will turn on then again it will reach 21 degrees Celsius and again the motor will turn off and again it will turn on by 23 degrees Celsius. So this process may repeat by turning on and off of the compressor it is maintaining the temperature and this may affect the comfort levels of the user. But in the case of an inverter type AC, it is always maintaining the 22 degree Celsius temperature. So the comfort level here is very high. Now the advantages of inverter type AC. So basically it is eco friendly. The biggest difference between the inverter and non inverter AC is the fact that motor of the inverter compressor has variable speed and the speed of the non inverter compressor is fixed. This means that it operates either at full or minimum speed. A sensor in the inverter AC adjusts the power according to the temperature in the room, lowering the electrical consumption and saving energy. And then savings in money. The compressor does not work at its full capacity all the time in an inverter AC. When the speed is lower, the needed energy is lower too and you pay less money for your electricity. Now quite an operation as a compressor motor of the inverter air conditioner does not turn on and off all the time but keeps working at lower power the operation is more quiet and longer life. The technology of the inverters not only makes cooling and heating more efficient but it also makes the AC's life longer than faster cooling and heating the inverter ac is able to cool or heat your room faster than the non inverter type acs then high comfort levels as we have already seen it provides very high comfort levels to the user and then ozone friendly the refrigerant used in in non inverter type acs are r22 which is hcfc hydrochlorofluorocarbon base which affects the ozone whereas in inverter type acs the refrigerant used are r410a or r32 which are hfc based that is hydrofluorocarbon where the chlorine content is less and they are eco friendly now coming to the inverter refrigerator so to start with the conventional refrigerator most of us are accustomed to using the this type of refrigerator it is quite recently only people getting started to use the inverter type refrigerator a compressor is the heart of the refrigerator similar to that of an air conditioner and the compressor used by traditional refrigerator is a single speed type which only operates at one speed which is fixed and in a day a traditional compressor goes through a cycle of on and off and you might have noticed this cycle in your traditional refrigerator that at one point the unit gets quiet and then the compressor works again. Now an inverter refrigerator. The name inverter refrigerator comes from the fact that the compressor which is fitted to its body is the inverter itself. And this type of compressor can operate at various speeds and at low speeds it runs in a longer cycle. Both traditional and inverter compressor cycle on and off however for the inverter compressor it takes longer at lower speed and the inverter compressor has the power to adapt itself as per the usage habit of the consumer in a day as it operates at various speeds suppose if you are loading stuff in the fridge during which the door is kept open for longer the compressor will sense and start operating at higher speeds to compensate the loss of cold air and giving way for the warm air that's also coming in again at night when there is a little or almost no activity with the refrigerator the compressor runs slow it uses just the right amount of energy that is required to maintain the temperature of the refrigerator and this is the place where energy efficiency comes into play and it saves around 20 to 30 percentage of your electricity bill hence if saving energy and thereby your money is what you are seeking for then make sure 
you get an inverter refrigerator so this is all about inverter type air conditioners and refrigerator thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please do subscribe and press the bell icon thank you